So I know a lot of you may watch this and think that this is another video used to deter guys from getting married or boycotting marriage, but this is something that happens every day to men and some men find out the hard way despite videos like this, all of these different statistics and people that you know going through these things and women using the system to their benefit. And in this process, you're gonna see here firsthand how Buddy right here is gonna get hit with something that he may have not have seen coming. So I'm not gonna hold you guys any further. Let's go ahead and get into the video. Let's go. How can I help you? I'm, I'm videotaping this because this is yeah. some bullshit. You don't mind. Hello, sir. My uh, name is Ulysses Butch Slaughter. Yes, sir. And you are? Trooper Orgish. All right. Everybody got that because I'm going to share this shit. And you are? Trooper De Salvatore. I like these guys. Yes, sir. Sir, do you get what's on you? I do. Thank you. Asking me for my license. Yes, All right. We're back. It's me, we're back. Alright. So this is a PFA, right? Right. So you're with uh now who's that to you? She's my wife. Good deal. Alright, so here's the deal. She's serving a PFA against you. What is that? Protection from abuse. Everybody heard that? Okay. That's why I sir, this is this is everything to do with you and her, not so much yourself and I, right? But I'm gonna explain it to you. I, I hear that. I just can't believe that my wife is serving me with a pr protection for what? Protection from abuse. This is for you. This is your copy. Yep. What does that mean? What's that? A protection from abuse. There was something going on between you two yes. that, she, that she didn't like, all right? So she filed a protection from abuse order against you, all right? Everybody got that? Everything's listed on here, sir. Do I have if to you leave? Want, you will, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm just taking the time to ex sort of explain this to you, all right? All right, all right. Give me that courtesy. All right, so if you want to open that up, that packet, sir. Mm-hmm. I'm being evicted from my house now. Yeah, immediately, but what we'll, we'll, we allow you to do is get an overnight bag. All right, so right. We'll, we'll go inside so you can get some of your things. I have to leave with you? No, you can, you can drive away. No, 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 no. What I'm asking you is I have to leave right now. Correct. Yep. So you can go inside, gather up some of your things. We allow you that courtesy. And do you have your car here? I do. I do. And then on your own accord, you can leave here, okay? So you're going to leave and I can leave after you leave? I just have to leave. We're going to leave. No, we're going to leave with you. We're going to leave together. You, okay. you definitely have to leave today, okay? Got gotcha. you. So what we'll do now, go inside. Mm -hmm. get some of your things. You need this back? What's that? This. Nope, that's for you. This is me. Yep. This is me. That's officer and that's officer. Can I see your eyes, please? Is that okay? All right. Wow. Protection from abuse. Buddy's name in itself. What was it? Butch Slaughter or Slaughter Butch? Man, listen, many men have been blindsided when they think things have been going well. And all along the wife, because it's strategic when it comes to divorce. Whoever files first usually has the upper hand because the attorney, they've been able to come up with things and devise a plan and all this other stuff. And attorneys may even advise stuff like this for the wife to do this, especially if she doesn't want to live in the house with him and wants him out of the house completely, even though he may be the only person that's on the title or the deed, if you will. He may be the only person that is actually on the mortgage, but he still has to get out and contribute to that mortgage or either pay it all. And a hearing, a temporary hearing can be done within two weeks of her actually filing. This is how crazy and the judge signing off on it. So two weeks you will have to get your stuff together and you can request a continuance and things like that but for her to file these claims it just helps to expedite the process to give her one leg up or she has the upper hand in the divorce process because there's claims of abuse now a lot of you are probably looking at like jr how do you know he didn't but this man has to leave his crib and get an overnight bag and they show up just like that and he just happens to be here so this is Pennsylvania, if you guys didn't see, and these are state troopers. So it's usually the sheriff that shows up with this. With I'm assuming that may be the equivalent. I don't know. But this is how it goes, fellas. And you are looking crazy. You may not be able to see your kids. You have to wait to court for them to have a temporary hearing, which includes custody, dividing the assets and things like that. But we're going to get back into the video, man. This is crazy. Let's go. I'm being evicted. I've been accused of I cannot believe I'm standing here in front of this house accused of um leaving my wife filed a false abuse claim against me 
in order to initiate a divorce, in order to get an advantage over the property that we have. Out of nowhere, she just filed a false abuse claim against me and had me evicted from the house. Women in particular who do this to men are criminals. They are dangerous, they are criminals. My understanding now is that this is a strategy that many women will employ in court in order to take advantage of their husbands and their property. You say, I should have seen this coming. She did everything she could to keep me from seeing what she was doing. For the men who have to go through this and the children who have to go through this, I feel sorry for you. This is painful, but the only thing that is going to heal this is justice. If you know someone, or if you are someone and this has happened to you, I'd love to hear from you. There needs to be a movement to stop this. There needs to be a movement so that some strong legislation can be put in place to stop this. This is criminal. Man, we can talk about this all day. It's these lawmakers and these legislators that pass this BS. They pass this bullshit so that family courts and the attorneys, everyone can make money off of this. It's a racket. It's a scheme. It's geared so that women come out on top usually in divorce it's not for men that's why there's really no benefit to get married on paperwork under god yes but on paperwork no there's really no benefit to this you guys it's traumatic it's super traumatic especially if it's false you have to go through due process to prove your innocence in that but in the meanwhile they're going to take the woman's word over yours and kick your ass up out of your house but let's go to the next clip let's go um i gotta give you a follow-up for the many people who have asked me for an update here's the update before I even went to court for the PFA, my wife's attorney sent me a letter, sent me a letter and the letter says, we are having a PFA hearing this Thursday morning. While we are confident that we can secure a final PFA after a hearing, we would be willing to consider withdrawing the PFA if you agree to stay away from the home through an order under the divorce docket rather than through a PFA. If you would be willing to do this, please let me know in advance of Thursday's hearing so that we can draft the appropriate documents. Otherwise, we'll, we will be asking for a full three-year PFA or protection from abuse to be entered on Thursday. So if I stay away from the house, they will withdraw the protection from abuse. If there was abuse, you should not withdraw the protection from abuse. You should push it. But instead, what they're saying is stay away from the house and we won't say that you abused her. I have daughters and if someone abuses my daughters, I want them to be punished for that abuse. I'm not going to negotiate around that matter. I want them to be punished for that abuse. This is a tactic. This is a tactic to get an advantage in a divorce. What they've attempted to do is criminalize me and, and uh, make it difficult for me to move on with my life, but to give her an advantage in moving on her life. This is unfair. It's unfair, buddy, but this is the United States legal system. This is a lot of Western legal systems, but especially in the U.S., where capitalism is king. Man, get yourself an attorney. This is what they do. They try to position themselves, and then they go with negotiations. Stay away from the house. Why stay away from the house? She doesn't want you at the house, bro. She's trying to get everything in where you have to pay her. And it just is what it is, man. You can scream and holler at the top of your lungs. The politicians are invested in it. There's people being paid off to keep things the way they are. 
It's funny because we talk a lot about this being a male dominated society, right? This being a patriarchal society, right? But these laws are that are created by men, right? Are geared towards having women destroy you because it's the almighty dollar that basically rules at the end of the day. Let's finish this out to see what else he had going on here, man. Let's go. It's really hard to go back and look at this video, <clears throat> but it's something that I have to do. I'm committed to justice in my situation. I'm showing this because I hope that it will help other people. I hope that it will encourage other people to fight for what they believe in. Children are involved and children have been hurt and children need to know the truth. I hear some of you saying that there are two sides to every story. There are a lot of sides to a story and all it takes is one liar one liar to try to disrupt everybody telling the truth. And you're gonna hear from other people in this situation. You're gonna hear from other people. You're gonna hear from my friends. You're gonna hear from my family about this situation because everybody knows that this was a major disruption, a major deception, a major betrayal. And it was clearly planned. No, it didn't come out of nowhere for the person who was planning it. It came out of nowhere for the people who fell victim, momentary victim to this situation. I wanna thank the two young men, the two PA state troopers who came out and were, were doing their job. And I hate to say just doing their job. They should not be put in that situation. I'm looking for legal people. I'm looking for, for lawyers who deal with um, false accusations and false allegations. I'm looking for people who can explain this thing that is called the silver bullet. This was an attempt to shut my life down with a false allegation. I've got all of the receipts. And again, to those of you that say you should have seen this coming, I have to tell you, I got a question why you would get in a relationship and always be looking for something coming. You shouldn't have to always be looking for something coming. And when somebody is so determined to disrupt your life and will pretend like they are with you, these actors and actresses who want to pretend like they are with you, they are really good. At the end of the day, fellas, there really is no benefit for you being married other than maybe as a father rights to your children but you can see maybe in terms of where this guy is going it looks like he may get limited depending on the situation but that's the only real rights you have you get a little bit more rights being married as a father than as opposed because most of the time mothers depending on the state though mothers are the custodial parent so there's really no benefit for you to get married you can get destroyed and everything taken i'm just being honest when i say married I'm speaking in terms of signing that government contract. That's what I mean. Now on to the next thing he said, what he was talking about here. People will often say, you should have seen this coming. Just like they saying to him, any man who's going through some shit, but they won't say this to a woman, right? Any man's going through some shit, they should have been like, you should have seen it coming. In my case, when I relate my situation of what happened in my divorce, people should have been like, there were signs. You should have seen it coming. You should have seen it coming. No, you really don't sometimes, man. If I did, if I seen it coming, you think I would have stayed? You think I would have put up, man? Come on, man. You guys need to cut that out. But he said something very important, what he finished off with, where he said, these actors, these actors. And when we talk about this game of life, this story that we're living in, this matrix, the best actors get the best parts. When the people we deal with from day to day, our bosses, our brothers, sisters, mothers, our wives, girlfriends, whatever. The best actors get the best parts. And that's just how it is, man. You guys can take it how you want to take it. But let me know if you guys have been in a situation similar to this. Comment below. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit me up on Linktree to book a one-on-one -on -one with yours truly. Purchase all my books, merch, t-shirts. Helps to support the channel. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. With that being said, much blessings and abundance. Stick around for the next video that's going to pop up on the screen below. That's where I'm going to see you guys at. This is your favorite everything. This is Wisdom. I'm out of here. Peace. Uh, yeah. 50 cents. 50. Part two. Bring it back. Uh, yeah. Can't forget Tony. 50. UK.